What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again with another sports design tutorial. This is actually going to be a two-part tutorial. We're going to show you how to do the actual sports collage and we're going to show you how to add motion to the actual collage as well. A little different, but you know, got to stay relevant, got to keep switching it up, bringing new ideas to the marketplace. Okay. So first you want to start lining up your design, cutting out all your figures. All right, so just cut out all your figures. Now we're about to start placing them. Go with feels right. It's only like about three images. Don't want to have it too crowded. It's a small space, so we'll see. Okay, after you start placing them, we're going to start adding some objects from the actual team so we're trying to do like maybe the stadium we'll add like the logo maybe some skyline from the city things like that lamello hurt right now but he's been cooking it you know potential rookie of the year so shout out to him and i've been watching lamello since like high school so i'm definitely a big fan And so now as well as the stadium, there's a few other assets I want to add. I probably want to add an autograph in here, some honeycombs, um, since that's Charlotte's Hornets, you know, makes sense. Um, some paper rips I'm going to add in here. I'm going to add some paper textures for my animated overlays pack. I got animated stills, regular stills, so we're going to use something that. So now you're going to try to start placing some of these objects around until you find what fits. So I'm just going to speed through that part. We're just taking out the letters from the actual logo, putting it in the corner. Adding some honeycomb stuff I saw. Light in the background, add some grunge. You know, to give it that separation. I love tickets. I'll graph out. This is a quick invert black and white, darken over. Like I said, some overlays from my pack. I'm gonna use that as a background. Lay that in the back. Find it where it fits right. Go to opacity on that. And once again, these are in depth tutorials because you guys can ask me to talk through it and show y'all my process. So, like I said, everything is not like one, two, three, like a lot of trial, a lot of error. So, now I, I added a paper rip I got online and I as well added some Charlotte Hornets Skyline. And I'm just gonna play with the blending modes on there so it's sitting just on the black. Okay, so then take those, put that to the back. Just a little bit. I think we need to mess with the logo right now in the right hand, bottom right hand corner. You can see it too well. I think we're gonna move on to that after. Okay, so now we're gonna add a stroke and then we're gonna add some perspective to the sharp hornet text logo. But just give it some proportion toward to the stadium. There you go. See, now it's a flow. See how it follows in the direction. There you go. Cool. Yeah. 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 Blue Hornet. Oh, I think my left hand corner. 
Now you want to copy and paste that other rip in the corner. You're just going to make a color overlay just to give it some separation, some distinction. See how blue is the main image, but you still got that purple. Now we gotta add some some background. We gotta add some separation because it's just white background. So let's use like a spray gun brush. Let's see how we can uh, add it. There we go. Some nice little pop. Ooh, the honeycomb. Yes, yeah, sir. You can always adjust it when you create your own layer for each brush. But I do want to set separation of colors, so let's get some other colors going in there in the background as well. Just keep playing around with it. Okay, cool. So now we want to add some gradient map to the images so it has some distinction. There we go. This looks so sportsy, doesn't it? You're just going to play with the blending mode to you find something that you like. I use a regular black and white gradient overlay for this one. And then if you want to be special and just highlight just the colors, you could just create and paint on the mask. So you could just have the blue and just the jersey will be the regular blue. It won't be like this tinted faded um, cartoony look. And you want to do that for each. Okay, so after you make all your adjustments with all your color overlays, you gotta add some accents. So we do let's add a sticker. So it seems like it's sticking the actual studio, so it gives it the actual like collage feel. All right, so we're just gonna add like a little Lamelo Ball one of one on this left hand corner to give it some information. And then we're just gonna add like you know a curve on there, uh, warp the text, you know, arc. Alright, so lastly, you can add maybe a few scratches and maybe some noise. So you know how to create the noise. You just fill it away with gray, add noise. This one I think you might do monochromatic noise, so, so we'll see. Just play with the blending mode as always. I felt like the background was a little plain, so I used one of the cutouts that I didn't use earlier, 
I'm gonna just add it to the background with a nice little soft light mini mode and really low opacity. So it's there, but it's not really there. Alright, so this is pretty much the end of part one. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to create all these elements so then we can make motion in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So until next time, y'all, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, and this next tutorial will be coming up right up next. So enjoy.